Hello again. Hi, Archie. What are we working on today? Hey, more electric bicycles? Yeah. Here's the motor taken apart. Uh, this is from a, a Bion X, I believe. Bion X. What I read is that they call these the wolf's, wolf in sheep sheep's clothing wolf in sheep's clothing I think that's because it's such a big diameter it makes uh, makes for a lot of torque this big motor diameter for a wheel hub motor so what it had it had a proprietary BMS that needs to talk to the motor controller and uh, my friend at fun hogs Russell he attempted to put a new new piece in there and I think it let its soul out smoke came out so he asked me if I could help, and uh, I don't know if I can or not. We'll see. This is as far as I got so far. So I have removed the motor controller, of course, which I think is still good. And then uh, I took all the wires. Let's see if I can show you. Here's the here's where the hall sensors come out. So I tapped in. I soldered. I soldered new wires on there. Kind of hot glued them down. Lots of tie wraps and stuff. And I did the power negative and signal I think I got it right I used my tester to figure some of that out because I had I had this to work from so I hope I got that right and uh, yeah there's all my wires kind of heat shrinked and tire wrapped so next I've tried to lay can't really see it there's signal wires down beside the main wires you can see a little brown and an orange on next to the green so I'm hoping that they'll lay into these little grooves in the axle and I can slip the bearings over. That's about what's to happen next. That, that's where i got to slip it into. I uh, glued the magnet ring back in, cleaned it up, glued it back in. Uh, I was amused to see that inside here is actual dynamat, which is, <laughs> I've known that used in the car stereo industry for a while, so that's interesting. That's pretty high quality sound deadening in there. And then after I get this all rigged back up, the last thing I got to do is I'll hook this BMS into the battery. There's there's a battery. So I'll wire this BMS in the battery, try to stick it back in the box. We're going to replace this controller here with with this one here from Grin Cycles and I think I think my friend Chris might take this. He's he's uh he's interested in having the cycle analyst on it. It doesn't need to run the cycle analyst, but we're going to stuff it on there. They're kind of nice. So, that's where I sit so far. I'm about to put the motor, try to set it in there, and uh, if all goes well, I, I should have a working bike with hall sensors. Uh, I've, I've already accepted that if I can't get the hall sensors to work, I think that this controller is capable of running sensorless. So, in the end, it might just be a sensorless motor. We'll see. Uh, yeah, that's my electric bike. Here's the bike it come off of. What is it? Uh, an ohm. It's got hydraulic, hydraulic disc brakes and some big tires and stuff. So I think it's a worthwhile bike to fix. Uh, what I do know, these little problems and these, there's going to be a flood of all these bikes coming. Tons and tons of broken electric bikes that no one knows how to fix. So I've been encouraging a lot of the young, young lads and lasses around here to. Uh, try to pick up on this because it's it's pretty easy when you learn how all the troubleshooting information is on uh, ebikes.ca that's what I use anyways for everything and uh, yeah you can pretty much fix anything with a multimeter and a soldering iron so the flood of broken electric bikes is coming get ready to fix them that's all thanks for watching I'll uh, update you when I have it back together hopefully it's a runner bye bye